bunch of different ways to deliver the same kick, the benefits and the drawbacks of each one. Okay, so I like to think of every way that you can deliver a kick has certain benefits, but at the same time it's going to have certain drawbacks. And it's all about weighing up your options and trying to figure out which one you're going to throw to get what you want out of hitting the target. So what we'll take as an example for today is a roundhouse kick, hitting with the top part of the foot coming around the side of the target. So lead leg roundhouse kick, what we're looking for here is absolutely no telegraphing. Telegraphing means when you show them what you're going to do before you do it. So whether that be with moving the back foot or your guard changing or some movement in your body other than what's necessary to deliver the kick. So lead leg roundhouse kick at the minute just on the spot, straight up, boom to the target and down. Benefits, speed. So because it doesn't have any telegraphing, because it doesn't have any additional movement to it, it's the quickest way that we can get that target from point A on the floor to point B, which is the target that we're trying to strike to, lead leg roundhouse. Drawbacks, it's going to lack in power in comparison to other ways of throwing. Now that's not to say it can't be powerful, it's not to say that it can't do damage, it's just to say that if you were to compare it to what we're going to talk about next, which is the back leg roundhouse kick, it's not going to be able to compare Back leg roundhouse kick. Now this one has kind of part A, part B. We'll start with pulling it back to the same stance. So back leg roundhouse kick, boom, and pulling it back to where you came from. The idea being that if you fight from a set stance, that we want to be able to execute that kick and recover from it back to our preferred fighting position. Back leg round and pull it back. Boom, okay? Now also we can land that kick in front. So if you're able to fight off of both stances and if you practice and train off of fighting with both stances, this kick can be used to change the distance on something. So if she pulls it back as she has, you can see our distance between each other hasn't changed. However, if she lands it as the front leg, she's now dramatically closed the distance between her and opponent. So she's got someone that's retreating back a lot every time she kicks. This is a great way of getting a bit closer so that she can then follow up, land hands, or whatever it might be. Okay, reset it back. Benefits, power, and like we just spoke about, the ability to manipulate the distance between you. Okay? Drawback is going to be that it's got a telegraph, it's got a tell. So there's more distance between that foot and that foot to a target. So it's got further to travel, which means I've got longer to react and respond to it, which means that there's more opportunity to be countered. Okay? So when you look at those two kicks, they're kind of partnered with each other. Lead leg roundhouse kick is quick, but not as powerful. Back leg roundhouse kick, more powerful, but we're going to sacrifice some of that speed in order to generate that power. But we also get the added benefit of being able to manipulate the distance. Okay? Two other ways of delivery. One step roundhouse kick. One step is where we bring up the back foot to where the front foot position is, and then lift the front foot up to execute the kick. Watch that one again. Stepping up with the back foot and kicking with the front foot. Okay? Now again, we've got the benefit of being able to manipulate distance because when she finishes that kick, she can land here or she can do what's called the pull back, which is where we throw that one step movement, but we one step back out of it to return to our original position. So she one step up, she one step back to recover the distance that she made. Okay? So again, Benefit, we can manipulate distance. Another benefit now is that we get some of that power of what that back leg roundhouse kick was without sacrificing as much speed. So because we've got that one step movement, we can use that momentum to generate a bit more force with that kick as if we went uh, as comparison to doing it on the spot. Okay? Again, drawback is that there is a tell. Okay, that back foot stepping, once people get savvy to it, that becomes a real tell and also a bit of a dangerous one. Because if she gets to the part where she steps with that foot and then I execute on her, whether it be with hands or whatever, she's in a very compromised position in terms of her footing, balance, posture, etc. Okay? Juxtaposed to that is the sliding round. Sliding roundhouse kick, we're now trying to lift the chamber up as a priority and then travel forward and deliver the kick. Okay? Now, in a more advanced version of this kick, you will be lifting the leg as you travel. So all in one movement, as you lift the leg, 
we travel the distance to here. Okay? This defeats a lot of the drawbacks of the previous kit. We still get to manipulate distance, we still get to attack going forward, but now we don't have the tell at least in front of the kit. What I mean by that, and maybe a side kick is a better demo for this, if she throws a side kick with a one step movement, I can step in and over that kick as she does it, especially if I can read that one step. So the second I start seeing that step, I can move in and attack, I can shut her down, okay? Juxtapose that to the sliding side kick where the chamber takes priority. Now, if she chambers and I try to check, the kick is already a problem for me. If, she then, if I then went at her, she could then deliver that kick at me as I go. It's a lot more difficult to get in on a sliding kick. And we get some of the speed back that we lost from that one step movement. Okay? Drawback, yes, we are going to lose some of the power again because we're going to have to use some of that force just to drive forward. The other drawback is this one cannot be manipulating the distance in the way that the other can. Like I said, with the one step, we have a choice. We can land it moving forward or we can land it pulling back to our original position. However, with the slide, once you've gone in on that slide, it's very difficult to draw that all the way back. Now, if you've got really good control at leg, uh, and of the leg, you can throw it and then do that one step movement, sorry, uh, do that one step movement backwards as you put the leg down. So you can slide in on the kick, but then do that reverse one step movement to come back out. Yeah? But that's quite advanced, we're improving on a few levels there. So, to, in conclusion, just to wrap things up, lead leg roundhouse kick on the spot, fast but not super powerful. Back leg roundhouse kick, not as fast, has more of a tell but gives us a lot more power. One step roundhouse kick, keeps some of the power from the back leg but it has a tell. But allows us to manipulate distance in two ways, by either closing or maintaining. Sliding roundhouse kick eliminates the tell from the one step, removes a bit of the power, but brings back some of the speed. It's a bit more difficult to deal with. And we can manipulate the distance, but it's a bit more difficult because it requires more forward commitment in order to throw it effectively. Okay, those are four ways. Now again, we've done it there with a roundhouse kick, but as we were talking earlier about the side kick, front kick, hook kick, you can execute all of these principles off of different kicking techniques. So next time you're on the bag, next time you're sparring, give it a go, try all four of them, see what you can get, see what you can make work.